Pfizer announced today that its COVID vaccine is safe and effective for children between the ages of 12 and 15. Now they say it has actually produced a more protective response than in adults. So they expect to ask the ex uh, FDA to expand use to this age group. But will parents be willing to have their children vaccinated? That's the question. Two Works for You's Jeanette Caseda talked with parents right here in Green Country who still have questions and, of course, some concerns. Jeanette. Well, that's right. Some parents are ready to inoculate their kids and others want more information about the vaccine. They're not getting the vaccine. It, they're just not. <laughs> I, I'm just not comfortable with it. And I'm just, there's, I don't feel that there is any legitimate and liable reason to need it at this point. Nicole Six is not against the COVID-19 vaccine. Her husband contracted the virus and has also been vaccinated. But when it comes to vaccinating her kids, she's hesitant. Right now, the Pfizer vaccine is the only vaccine that is available for anyone under the age of 18. And right now, it is approved for 16 and 17 year olds. Today, Pfizer announced the trial showed 100% efficacy of their vaccine among kids in the 12 to 15 year old age group. Now it's awaiting emergency use authorization from the FDA. As soon as that officially becomes approved to be used in that age range, and it's adopted by the CDC and the American Committee on Immunization Practices, we will certainly start administering that to that age group. But parents like Catherine Wright feel that's not enough information. She wants to be well informed before she makes a decision relating to her kids' health. I don't know exactly what is all in that vaccination that they're putting in your kid who's still growing and developing and changing every day. I don't know what's in it. Ellen Nimitello, manager at Clinic Services with the Tulsa Health Department, says she appreciates and understands parents wanting to make a well-informed decision. That's why she encourages them to turn to reliable sources for solid information. If we can stop the spread of the disease, even though it might potentially be relatively mild in the children, we really are protecting the community and the family that are around those children. Now, Mattello highly recommends consulting any questions or concerns with your primary doctor or the health department if you do want to do your own research, she recommends visiting the CDC's website or the American Academy of Pediatrics. In studio, Jeanette Quesada, two works for you.